Welcome back, welcome back, I'm Matt Party people. This is another follow-up to quadratic expressions and factoring them. Now, this is a special case, and if you haven't watched the previous videos and practiced with the worksheets and speed drills in the course, please make sure you go back to those in terms of factoring trinomials and then looking at perfect square trinomials. What we're looking at in this video is gonna be how to factor a difference of squares and noticing when you have a difference of squares. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. And again, today, right here, we're doing this video is called difference of squares. So factoring a difference of squares. All right, that's it right there. Now let's get right into it. So first I'm gonna show you the long way and then I'm gonna show you the shortcut rule that you can use right there every single time. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one here. X squared minus 144. Now again, the reason I told you that's really important to watch those previous videos, especially factoring trinomials, is because of this. Notice how, remember, it's always gonna be, hey, ax squared plus bx plus c, right? Now, here's what's important about this. Let me get my cup of water out of the way. Here's what's important. Notice how we have our ax squared right here. We have our c right over here. But notice how we don't have a B term, right? Notice how we don't have anything with just an X with it. That's a little weird, right? Just a little weird. But it's actually not that weird. Here's why. Here's why. Because the thing is, technically speaking, what we have is plus zero X, right? Zero times anything is just gonna be zero. So technically, can you agree with me? Technically, the X term is there. It's just zero X. Technically. Now, why is that important? Let's go ahead and go through this with the way that we've learned how to factor trinomials. What are the factors of C that add up to B? Let's just go through it. And then I'm going to show you the shortcut method to just do this really quickly, literally in five seconds or less. Here we go, though. So we have x squared plus 0x minus 144. So the rule is, hey, what are the factors of that negative 144? that add up to zero. Hmm. So you're telling me we have two numbers that when you multiply them, you get negative 144, but when you add them, you get zero? My part of people think about it like this. What do we know? What do we know when, if you add two numbers and you get zero, what do you know about those numbers? The numbers are opposites. The only way to add two numbers and get zero, unless there's zero already, the only way that you can do that Add, into, you know, add two numbers, you get zeros if they're opposites. One and negative one, you add them, you get zero. Two and negative two, you get zero when you add them. Three and negative three, zero, et cetera, et cetera, going forward like that. Okay, so with that said, if we're looking at the factors of negative 144, take a look at this. What pair, when you multiply them, adds up to zero? Well, that's gonna be a positive 12 and a negative 12. That's what it's gonna be. Because again, you have to find the factors of C that add up to B. The factors of negative 144 that add to zero. Because it's a negative 144, the factor pair has to be a positive and a negative. It has to be. And so, with that said, boom, a positive 12 and a negative 12 adds to zero, and so that's what it will be. Right there, so we can write this as x minus 12, x plus 12 because again if we were to go ahead and work this out which i'm going to do for you right now i'm going to prove this to you i'm going to work this out myself and show you and really quick before we continue my math party people i know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program in our program you have four main things to help you succeed and more but mainly in our course you're going to get access to recorded lessons you're going to get access to guided practice just like this worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online and lastly speed drills to raise your confidence that way when you take the test there's no test anxiety there's no pressure because you've been timed before you know what to do and that's the feeling that we want and all of that's included in our program and more so take a brief moment click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions sign up now let's get going and let's get back to the problem x times x x squared, x times positive 12, 12x, 
negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times positive 12, that's going to be negative 144. Now notice this, my math part people, positive 12x, negative 12x. What's going to happen? They're going to cancel out, leaving you with x squared minus 144. And so there it is. So we know that x plus 12, x minus 12 will work, right? We know that it'll work because we proved it, we used our technique, and we're good. But, and that's why I'm teaching you, but if you notice here, this is a special case. We can use a shortcut here because of this. Here's what a difference of squares is. Basically, the rule is, is as follows. When you have, let's say, a squared minus b squared, again, that's a difference, subtracting, difference right here, That is a difference. And then what do you notice about this over here? A squared, B squared. Those are squares, right? Yeah, that's a difference of squares. That's what makes it a difference of squares. When you have two things being subtracted that are squares, perfect squares, that's called a difference of squares. And the rule is this, my math party people. It is this. The rule is just write it as A minus B a plus b yes you can go the other way around it can be a plus b times a minus b but you get the point literally all you're doing is when you notice that you have a perfect square minus a perfect square you can literally factor it super easy by taking the square root of each and then adding them and subtracting them and multiplying them in that parentheses that's it that is it so basically when you're looking at this right over here x squared minus 144 x squared is x times x, 144 is 12 times 12. So you can immediately, and again, they have to be a difference, it has to be a difference, but immediately you can go ahead and make it x plus 12, x minus 12. Literally right there, super quick, no other explanation needed, you're done. That's the shortcut. So again, I hope you appreciate that I had to show you the right way, the, the, the fast, you know, the, the straightforward all the way through, because that's how we can get to these shortcuts and understand and trust that they work every single time as long as the conditions are right. When you have two squares being subtracted, you can apply the difference of squares. Let's go to number two. Let me show you here. We have p squared minus 81. Well, my math part of people here, guess what? p squared is p times p. 81 is nine times nine. And so you're taking the difference between them and the automatic answer will be p plus nine p minus 9 because again p times p is p squared 9 times 9 is 81 so yes you do have perfect squares and the answer will be a just like that just like that look at number three p squared minus 121 you got to know your multiplication tables 11 squared is 121 and so immediately you need to understand that you have yourself p plus 11 p minus 11 right there you got to be able to see that now i'm going to show you some more heavy examples here because it's not always going to be this pretty i do want to show you some more examples here my math party people so number four 16 is four squared so basically what you have is n plus four n minus four and you're done but let me go ahead and take it to the next level here let me go ahead and take it to the next level like let's say we're looking at number 13 here number 13 is a pretty interesting one and I really want to start showing you, again, harder examples because it's not always going to be super gravy or easy to notice. Again, what do you have here? 25x squared and 49. Are we taking the difference? Yes, we are. Notice right here, we're taking the difference. We're taking the difference. We're subtracting. And notice that we have 25x squared. Well, guess what, my party people? Guess what? 25x squared... Well, 5 times 5 is 25. X times X is X squared. So this is 5X all squared. And 49 is 7 squared. So what this means is we have 5X all squared minus 7 all squared. That's a difference of squares. And so we're good. Our answer is going to be 5X minus 7, 5X plus 7. And that's it. That is seriously going to be it. There's our answer. We're good. It's B. 
again, I'm part of people. This isn't terribly difficult as long as you understand, you know, how we got here to begin with. So if we keep going the math party people, let's go ahead and do something like, let's say, you know, number 18, 9x squared minus 1. Well, 9x squared minus 1, 9x squared is basically 3x all squared. And 1 is, well, 1 squared. And so with that said, we do, yes, have a difference of squares. And this will be 3x plus 1 times 3x minus 1, making our answer D. I don't mean to go as fast as I am, but when I get excited about things like this and shortcuts that we can use, for sure I'm gonna be excited, for sure. Now let's go ahead and go into these, uh, these harder ones here. Let's see if we have something even better. Let's say we have something like number 36. 144x squared minus 25y squared. Let's try this one out. Well, we got something harder here. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here, 144x squared is gonna be 12 times x all squared minus that's a difference right and then we're also going to have 25y squared which is 5y all squared 5 times 5 25 y times y y squared yeah we're good let's be real my hazbat party people you're enjoying this youtube video but why don't you join me for a free class i host a free class once a week for two hours so imagine two hours of free asvab math instruction by yours truly we get to ask questions grow with me raise your score and get the job you want so go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. And so there we go, my math party people, we got it. And we can say that this is gonna be equal to 12x plus 5y times 12x minus 5y. Right there, my math party people, that's the rule for the difference of squares. And so we will have ourselves answer choice D and we are good. So my math party people, I'm telling you, this is nothing exceptionally crazy. You know, as long as you understand how to notice perfect squares, you're really good. So like, let's go ahead and take a look at, man, like these are all pretty much going to be straightforward. You know, let's take a look at number 67 if we wanted to. Again, you know, once you know the technique, you're good. But you got to make sure you can notice all the different kinds of, you know, little tips and like inside stuff from this. I don't know why I botched that, but yeah, you get it. So with that, we have 100x squared minus 81. Well, over here, 100x squared is the same thing as saying 10x squared. 10 times 10, 100. X times x, x squared. And then 81 is going to be 9 squared. That is a difference of two squares. So we're going to have ourselves 10x plus 9, 10x minus 9. And that's answer choice C, just like that. We have to be able to understand how we get to this point because, again, this is the way that we're going to spell success for ourselves. Um, I do believe that that is as hard as it gets. You know, I'm just looking at these other problems here. Yeah, that's as hard as it's going to get. Uh, maybe we have something else here. Let's see. Do we have any fourth degree terms? We do not. No, we do not. But I do want to go over one last example here just in case you do run into something like this. If you're trying to factor, let's say, something like, man, let's say... 9x to the power of 6 minus, let's go ahead and say, 49y to the power of 10. We have got to be able to use the law of exponents, which is included in the course, in the program, if you're in it. So again, if you're in the program, make sure to go ahead and find law of exponents because we're going to be using the power of a power rule to understand how this works. But over here, 9x to the power of 6, that is the same thing as saying... 3x to the power of 3, all squared. Because the law of exponents says 3 squared is 9. x to the power of 3, all squared, you multiply the powers, and that's going to be 3 times 2 is 6. So x to the power of 6 is what we have. And then up next, again, we are taking the difference. And then over here in orange, 49y to the power of 10 is 7y to the fifth all squared because again y to the power of 5 to the power of 2 you multiply the powers to get that 10 and so there we go in this case we still also have a difference of squares I want you to be able to notice that because our final answer will be 3x cubed plus 7y to the fifth multiplied by 3x cubed minus 7y to the power of 5 
that will be the case. We're good and we're all set. And so my math party people, I'm your coach Anderson, always excited to be so. There you have it. Let's go ahead and go into the worksheet. Practice, practice, practice with these difference of squares. Go to the speed drills, keep blasting them there. And then from there, move forward into more techniques with factoring quadratics and beyond. I'll see you in the next video, my math party people. Coach Anderson out. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.